Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a update for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while and I've been meaning to do a pregnancy update for since I was probably about 37 weeks and right now I am two days off 39 weeks. So I'll call this my 38 week update even though I'm closer to 39 weeks. Um, and yeah baby could come at any time now so and I wanted to get this update in before I give birth so and yeah I'll also give you a bit of an idea of what my birth plan is and also I'm gonna show you guys my birth setup um, everything for because I am having a home birth but I will make another video showing everything I've got ready for the birth so yeah I guess in the last couple of weeks I have been feeling just really exhausted and tired and unmotivated like and just like totally unprepared to have another baby um, I think partly that was due to me having low iron so I've been taking iron pills and since since then I have been feeling a little bit better but still I just get really tired and exhausted um, especially by the end of the evening but I have noticed it's not so bad this time because it's um, starting to get colder and it's at the middle of autumn now so um, I noticed towards the end of my other pregnancies which were like in the summertime I used to get really sore tired feet and um, that did happen this time when it was the middle of summer as well. I got really sore tired feet um, by the end of the day like after standing up for so long as well but now since the weather's cooled down that doesn't happen anymore which is awesome like that's a bit of a relief so I think with the weather being a bit cooler that has helped as well but then on the flip side I do get kind of like winter blues and don't like the cold and um, it just makes me not want to do much so that's the flip side of it but I mean the weather hasn't been too bad anyway so like we get sunny days still just that the temperature has dropped so even though I have been exhausted I have been in full-on nesting mode as well um, so I've been just trying to like go through the house and organize cupboards and clean everything and just get as much done as I can possible before the baby gets here and it kind of just helps me mentally as well just knowing that I can be prepared for the baby and just making space for a new person to be living in this house and just making sure that the majority of the work is done by the time I have her so I'm not having to do stuff after I have a baby because I won't be able to anyway so yeah I've been making um, a lot of freezer meals and preparing stuff so that I've got um, meals ready on the go for when I've got a new baby. So yeah basically my head space has just been in preparing for the birth mode <laughs> so um, I think I've pretty much got everything together ready for the birth um, I just have to get a few more little bits and pieces and then I should be good to go but at this point in time I don't feel like mentally prepared to give birth just yet also because my mum is coming over from Australia to stay with me um, she's coming in about four days she'll be here so I'll be 39 weeks and one day when she comes so I'm kind of wanting to hold off giving birth until she's here because it'll be so much easier with more help around yeah so I'll just tell you guys like my birth plan which is pretty much similar to my previous births that I've had except for the first one because that was a hospital birth but with this birth it's definitely going to be a home birth and another water birth I just want to have a really natural relaxed atmosphere I will be birthing in my bedroom which is the same as the last two babies I've had so I've just yeah like getting my room ready and just trying to keep it clean and free of like kids toys and <laughs> stuff but they always end up coming creeping into this room and messing it up again anyway so I just feel like I'm constantly tidying up and yeah trying to get stuff ready and prepared but but yeah I just want natural like I'll be burning some essential oils and hopefully I won't need any kind of intervention like my midwife will be here um, but she's really hands-off and she's really awesome with home births as well so like the last two 
births that I've had, I've, I had the same midwife and she just basically sat back on the bed and, you know, just watched me do it, which was awesome. And then occasion, occasionally she'd come up and, like, take baby's heart, heart rate and my temperature and stuff. But apart from that, like, I pretty much did everything myself. So I think I want the same kind of birth this time. Although it will be different because, um, like, I won't have a partner kind of supporting me physically. I don't think. Like, um, my ex, Jordan, he will be at the birth. I was kind of up in arms about whether he should be there or not. But I decided in the end that I did want him to be there. And he should be there because it's his baby too. And, like, it'll help um, him bond with his baby as well. And as well as him, like, just being there for me, I think it'll be good. I'm not sure, like, exactly how what it, the dynamics will be like between us but he'll definitely be here to help out and like help with the kids if the kids are awake and like if it's during the day he will be able to um help sort them out or you know deal with whatever comes up but i'm pretty relaxed about the flow of the dynamics and how things will pan out so it'll be interesting though to see if i give birth in the night or the daytime because with all of my girls, um, labour started with, like, in the morning, um, I started contracting, like, probably eight, seven or eight o'clock in the morning with EV. Um, that's when my labour started, and I just knew that that was labour and that I was going to have the baby that day, so... And then she was born at, like, ten to one in the afternoon, so... And then with Hazel... Um, I think my waters broke at like 5.30 in the morning and then contractions started like a couple of hours later. And then she was born around that same time as well, early afternoon, like 12 something. So, and then all my boys were born at night time, like, um, or like in the wee hours of the morning. So, but I laboured all through the night with them. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether, because she's a girl, if she'll come in the daytime or not, or... Yeah, who knows? I just thought that was will be interesting to see. Um, also, it would be like it'd be really handy if she does come in the day if the kids are at school. Like that would be ideal, because <laughs> um, then they won't be hanging around. Although I have um, decided that, and I've talked with her about this. Um, that Hazel, I asked her if she wants to be at the birth and to see if she wants to to watch and. She said she would love to, like, and I think she's really excited about doing that. So I think if it's a school day and the baby comes during the day, I'll keep her home just so that she can be here because I think it would be really nice. Because she's going to be nine, or she's going to be nine at the end of this week on the 11th of May. So that's really close to baby's due date. So yeah, baby could come on the same day as her birthday, but, but I just thought it would be nice for her to see that. But yeah, I feel like I don't think I will go into labour until at least 39 weeks. Like I'm starting to feel baby is right down there and I'm getting those really sharp pains. Um, when she moves down lower it's like oh like takes your breath away kind of thing. Um, and then I do also get a lot of contractions um, like Braxton Hicks contractions. They started probably when I was like 30 around 30 weeks I started getting um, Braxton Hicks but then in the last couple of weeks they have just intensified a lot and one other youtuber who I watch um, she mentioned that taking raspberry leaf tea really intensified her Braxton Hicks contractions so I wonder if that is the same for me it probably is but I've been drinking raspberry leaf tea for um, probably since the third trimester. Okay, sorry about that, I had to change my camera's memory card. I was talking about raspberry leaf, so I have been drinking quite a lot of the raspberry leaf, um, especially in the last couple of weeks. I've been probably having about two to three cups a day. And yeah, my contractions have been quite intense at, at times and not so much regular. Um, I think they were regular like 
they've started getting a bit more regular in the night times, like when I'm lying in bed, like just, I think it was just a couple of nights that they were really coming, like, not like, not extremely regular, but just, I was noticing getting a lot more of them and yeah, and then now in the last week I've just been experiencing a lot of more like crampy pressure and like down low and just the feeling of like before you get your period just that kind of pulling down feeling a bit more like especially in the evenings when I'm a bit exhausted and um, ready to kind of lie down and stuff I've been feeling just like achiness and kind of just all round sore that kind of makes me feel like I'm coming towards the end of it too um, I also lost my mucus plug at 37 weeks, I think it was, and yeah, I've just been feeling the baby is just really down low, and when the midwife checked as well, she just said baby's right down there. Um, she also said it's not going to be a big baby, so like she's been doing my fundal height each time I see her, and she just keeps telling me it's not a big baby but that's kind of normal for my babies anyway so she's not too worried about that um, that's not really a concern for me at all in fact it's kind of a good thing because it means I don't have to push out a massive baby <laughs> so I'm glad about that um, but yeah what else um, some food cravings that I've been getting just in the last trimester or since maybe the second trimester I've just always been craving fresh seasonal fruit um, at the moment it's fajoas because they have just been in season and I just love fajoas um, especially like in the evenings after dinner I'll just be like that is just what I need right now is <laughs> a fresh juicy fajoa they're just so sweet and tangy and like sour sweet and sour um, and delicious and yeah just like fresh fruit and fresh veggies and salads and things also protein like I've felt like and a lot of people have asked me lately um, if I would be vegetarian like just we've just been talking about being vegetarian or vegan and a lot of people have asked me if I thought I could do it like um, during pregnant like with pregnancy and stuff as well and I just thought um, like my answer's always been I don't think I could do it during pregnancy because I just crave the meat and the protein and because I've been low in iron as well I think my body really needs to have that meat um, but that's just like my personal feelings of course um, so yeah I don't think I could be vegan sorry to all you vegans out there <laughs> but um, like I still love vegan vegetarian meals like lentils and um, curries and things like that that have no meat in it but I still need the occasional meal of like chicken or mince or something. The other strange thing is I've been craving really dark chocolate like 85% cocoa chocolate because um, I can't stand sugary stuff like I can eat it but then afterwards the aftertaste of the sugar just makes me feel sick and disgusting and I just don't feel good afterwards so um, I love the dark chocolate um, but yeah in the beginning like first trimester I could not stomach any chocolate at all like I just was not interested in chocolate so but yeah since my morning sickness has passed um, I definitely have been craving chocolate again so <coughs> yeah so I usually have some dark chocolate with my cup of raspberry leaf tea in the evenings and I always mix my raspberry leaf tea with peppermint tea so that kind of just gives it a better flavor to me another thing I heard about raspberry leaf was that when you start to go into labor you should drink a lot like a really strong brew of raspberry leaf and that's meant to make make you have a really pain-free labor and a short labor <laughs> apparently but it's something I'm definitely gonna try um, so I found this website that talked all about it but I can't find it since I saw it last but from what I remember she said to drink or just to make up a like a pot of 
really strong as much raspberry leaf as you can with water and the water should be as hot like you should drink it as hot as possible so say you steep it for like 10 minutes in the in the boiling water and then drink it as hot as possible and as strong as possible and then just keep sipping it throughout your labor as well so I think that's something I'll try if I'm feeling like that's like if I can stomach it but yeah that's definitely something that I want to do. Um, I also heard about eating dates which is something I haven't done in previous pregnancies but eating a lot of dates leading up to the labor is meant to help with fast and easy labor as well so that's something I'm gonna try this time too. Yeah I think that's pretty much all I've got to talk about in this video but I'm gonna show you guys my belly just because it has grown a lot. So I feel like it is huge but so many people have told me that I'm so small which is normal for me as well like people just don't even notice that I'm pregnant till the very end <laughs> so that is my belly and it feels huge to me I also think it's dropped a lot um, and I feel like I can like there's a bit more space up here so yeah I'm not getting as much heartburn as I was um, previously but yeah and I can breathe a bit better as well so I think baby's definitely dropped down lower he's just getting all ready for the birth and I think we have decided on a name it's been so tough trying to think of baby names and trying to agree on something with my husband um, about what we're gonna call this baby so but I think we're We'd, we've got it down to two names. It might just be a matter of seeing her before we actually decide what we're going to call her, but yeah, I think we've come to that point of almost deciding, so that's a good thing because <laughs> it was kind of stressing me out a bit before. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you followers who have been following me right from the beginning. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more videos up before I actually. Do have this baby and if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you do subscribe so you can follow my journey and don't forget to comment and like because I love communicating with you guys so yeah and look out for my future videos of my home birth setup and suppliers and possibly a baby name video and yeah I will see you guys next time bye